Oh, Mox, just uh, doing like an easier level mission just because of the fucking personal order. Requires yeah. the minefield. There's oh, no way I'm doing that during a normal, during my normal mission types. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I, I don't like the minefield, bro. Yeah, that's oh, why yeah, I'm only using it for this because it's like doing it during one of these easier difficulty missions is just makes it easier when you have to deal with weapons you don't want to use. Yeah. So you could get a, like an eradication for bots and you probably get that done real easily since it's just killed. Yeah, I did eliminate devastators. I just dropped a minefield on top of like a bot factory. Walk through the minefield. They're just like basically shooting at me and blowing up the mines by hitting them. Uh, you want stamina or muscle enhancement? Sending in an eagle! Um. Stamina is fine. And I would suggest definitely bringing in a minefield because then we can actually. Allied destroyer two of joining squadron. Deploying out. Uh, level two that just randomly joined the mission. I don't think he knows even what the hell he's supposed to even do. I mean, he's level two. Man, it's just started. Give him a break. Yeah. Oh, looks like there is. Trying out the eruptor. The eruptor, isn't that that uh, bolt action one that fires a jet assisted the round? rounds? Yeah. Yeah. I tried it, and eh. I'd much rather use something like the Quasar Cannon. I got the terminal! Uh, the fact that I've always used the AMR shit a ton, so I was like, oh, this gun's probably for me. And lo and behold, I'm already in love with this thing. The fact that it could just destroy bot fabricators at will. Yeah, the only, like, my only problem with it is this slow rate of fire. Yeah. Though that is interesting how shooting the open door of a fabricator can't destroy it, but shooting in the, like, little holes at the top is what should. Main yeah, that, that, that's your position. If you throw grenades in the open door... It works. Like, that's the way to, like, if you're going to go for the open door, you gotta toss grenades in. Uh, I'm on it! Yeah. I don't know why it is that way, but that's just how it is. Like, the, uh, like, it only works when you shoot the open door, when you throw a grenade into the open door. Otherwise, the guy should Engaging advance. terminal! Mission map updated. <laughs> So are you just starting up? Calling in orbital strike! Yeah. Right. Doing a oh, easier level right. mission just because of the personal order. Anti-personnel minefield. <laughs> Screw doing that in a level <laughs> seven. <laughs> At least it's only 40 kills. That's only like seven missions. I only got one kill so far. Wow, I managed to blow up three bots with, with hitting a fucking with a freaking hell bomb that was the fun of that. Yeah, seeing this thing one hit devs, I'm 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 gonna be using the erupt. <laughs> what it'll the hell? A, it'll be a nice change of pace from using the last sixteen. Reinforcing! 
Yeah. That's... I don't think the sickle holds it very well against bots. Eh. If you can aim, if you can aim with it, then you you can do really good. It's just, I mean, like it really the, the, the troopers, the low level ones, they are very easy to kill with the sickle. I've just seen so the other many ones, times though, like you get overrun by berserkers. You can't kill berserkers with that. Thing. Aim for the stomach. Yeah, the stomach I, is the best. I've literally seen you get overrun. Like you can't. Yeah, you but can't when, you, when you have like thirty of them, that's what happens with berserkers. Twice this saying. idiot they fucking runs into a fucking yeah. contact mine. It's always good. Uh, you should probably uh, call another uh, diver for the call. Yeah, I'm calling him back in. But I mean, geez, two times in a row, this idiot runs into a contact mine. I mean, I don't look for him because nobody uses him. Oh, are you talking about like the bot contact mines? The bot contact mines. So you're talking about like your mines, like you were killing him with your own mines. <laughs> no. Twice he ran into the, like the one of the ones by where the Devastator was. Cause like our mines are so tiny, even though they have LEDs on them, like they have light bulbs. It's so small. What is? Oh, that's a fabricator over there. Yeah. Got a sample. And let's see. Oh, I see what people like mean for by the uh, black hole vortex from the. Uh, the Scorpion. It's not the Eruptor though, it's every explosion weapon. Even the Scorcher oh, if you're close enough. Oh, it's all of them now? It's uh, every single explosion weapon. It's a new bug. <laughs> so, like, the Scorcher has a little explosion that if you're standing right in front of somebody, it'll just, like, flop you forward. Oh, <laughs> what? But yeah, like, it's really bad because this new war bond, there's three different explosion weapons that have gigantic explosion radius the Eruptor, the grenade pistol, and the crossbow. They all have really big uh, radius to them, so they all suck you towards the enemy. Huh. It's really bad with the, uh, the um, berserkers. So Once this guy's going to get himself fucking over. killed. Support weapon inbound. Go I mean, level two. Two. Maybe he thinks yeah. it's funny. Yeah, oh, I'm dropping a minefield on the objective point. That should take care of some of the, uh, the box. Especially because it's deploying them right, it deployed it right in front of their uh, fabricator. It is interesting these days, like so many new players playing bots because of the major order, that uh, a new player playing on bots is you observed uh, probably the most challenging. Extraction thing you can do. Yeah. That's hard though to it though. I mean, the best way to get good at something is repetition. Yeah, it's just like with that guy, how many times do you have to die to a contact mine? <laughs> yeah. He'll figure it out eventually. I won't, I won't lie, bro. I, I still get my ass caught by mine so often. Going down I've died too many times to, like, just yeah, traps, anymore. Traps in games is my fucking kryptonite. I, I... The term... It's just a struggle just to look down or up is just so prevalent to me. It's the worst. It's easy to get tunnel vision, especially, like, uh, like a cannon turret in the, the far distance. You're looking at that, how the mine's on the ground in front of you. Calling in reinforcements! Yeah. I mean, it's just... Hmm. It's a good thing I always packed a shield That's pack, it. because I just ran, walked over one of my own mines, and the fucking shield just <laughs> saved my ass. Damn, I don't know what the fuck I just did, but one minefield, and I just killed 20 of them. Were they just all chilling over here? I mean, that's oh, up, it's up to 18. Yeah, my, actually, mine's up to 17. Yeah, I had a fucking. I got one kill. Like I got one kill before well. you. I got one kill before you actually joined. I'm just gonna let these last 30 minutes remaining. Collect all the samples we can. Yeah, I've been good. I mean, this level two is going to need them. I've been watching videos about Helldivers 1. There's so much shit they could add from the first game. 
I have that game. I haven't played it yet. My life. I was thinking just the other day, like yesterday, that man, it'd be cool if we had like an acid flamethrower. And it's like, yeah, that was in the first game. <laughs> all the good ideas were already in the first game. They already had all the bullshit. Yeah. Man, they got a freaking medic. Reinforcing! I, I want that shit. What? Yeah, there's a gun that just can straight heal. You're doing your thing. Oh, so that's I'm cool. I was like, wow, I would absolutely love that for just like a medic role. Instead of <laughs> just dumping stim up people's asses and calling it a day. Calling down fortifications! Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Minefield right on the fabricator. Wait. Requesting and and the. Uh, oh, yeah, there's another one. Four. <laughs> four. Oh god, that freaking match caused the thing to blow up. <laughs> We're up to 26 kills. Oh, why is he? What a moron! I wonder what happens when you step on the explosive. Oh, they're, just, they're trying to walk around the minefield now. Oh. Ha. Gonna do, I'm gonna do us and him a favor. I'm pulling him away from the minefield. Yeah, probably a good idea. Alright. Ah, oh, that was 25 kills. So, uh, I am just trying to see if I can see any samples over here. There is one. Nope, two. And I am going to thread the minefield. Extraction right. is available. There we go. Managed to get through the minefield without hitting a single one. Unlike the new. Who seems like this is like what the third fucking that was like the third mine that his dumbass decided to walk into? He just thinks they're pretty. Oh, that's a new visual part. Don't don't switch weapons in ADS while charging the bolt on the uh, bolt action sniper. It'll bug out your character model. <laughs> yeah, that's not buggy. Did you call in the hey, extraction, or was that him? No, that was him. I, I, I don't touch that unless everybody knows. Need T-A-T-1-1-30-seconds. And I'm just running from some bots right now. And I have to wait a few Drop minutes. Drop yeah, I got, the, I got the 20 seconds from that. I got... Well, it's, uh, ready now. I wish he would just get over here. Minus, I'm gonna toss this mine... I wanna toss this minefield out. But his yeah. dumb ass is out there in the woods like Requesting a moron. Requesting fortifications! <laughs> Deploying minefield. This should bless, like... Oh, yeah, I'm getting a good Alright, where are we up to? 31. ATA T minus 20 seconds. Come on. Right there, to your right. ATA T minus 10 seconds. Clear landing zone. Tend to the sum of your coming over here. Zone. There's eight more kills. Pelican one landing sequence initiated. Watch where you're standing. Count 
lockdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Extraction complete. Here we go. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Today you've carved another foot in the long climb to liberty. <laughs> samples not bad oh and it's like at least we also got the major order finished the guy is that they use as the announcer in this. It's like, I'd like to fire him and, fi and hire a woman instead. Your democracy oh. officer, or like... What my man's do? Whoever, whoever call, like, whoever, do, like, announces the stuff during the mission. has left squadron. Oh, okay. Like, oh, objective near your position and stuff like that. I'd like to fire him and hire a woman in this place. I'd rather, I'd rather listen to Eagle One's voice than the guy. <laughs> So. I mean, it would it would just as easily become grading. The you're near artillery. You're near artillery. Over and over. The again. struggle for managed democracy. Whoever's gonna get that role, they have hard job. No time to waste. Not gonna like. I just wish the bridge. I, I just wish the bridge commander would uh, find an opening and break their yeah, hold. That. That's voice your democracy officer. Uh, let's see. If Cyberstan is a place with a long yeah. history of treachery. The stronghold of the cyborgs, and later their prison. That man. Perhaps it is no well life. done. Coordinates locked. Help us. He only does like the intro and the exit of the mission, right? This democracy officer. I kind of want his. Uh, I kind of want his armor though. Like that giant pauldron that he has on his left arm. Orbit synchronized. We'll get the, this one should fin, like should just get us that uh those last kills we need for the order. Yeah. So we'll drop in right here. Take an anti-personnel minefield. And then my standard blue now. I should bind these two to the to the macro key, like the shield pack and the quasar can to the macro keys on my keyboard. Boo. Because Boo. I, I because I bought a new uh, keyboard when I was on home time last week, and it's got six keys that I can set macros up on. There you go, one on one, one on the other. Oh, and they caught it in right on top of it, too. Alright, give me a sec, get, just get this in cover real quick. Ah. Yeah, I mean, it's only too hard. Reinforcing! <laughs> I got one. Request yeah. approved. Two reinforcements on the way. You could probably just leave it there. Just wait for him to walk out. The Devastators are outside the minefield, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. 
two minutes for the cooldown. Be careful. Oh, fuck you. God, that's a fuck. I mean, what I like about with the, with the sickle is the fact that you don't need any ammo. <laughs> yes, everyone knows that. You just can't kill anything larger than a light enemy. Eh, I mean... Yeah, if there's it, one. It, like, <laughs> if there's a tangler guy. You can take, like, if there's like two or three, you can take them off. But when you're swarmed by like five or six heavy, like the Devastators or anything, like your Berserkers, yeah, you're pretty much screwed. It's like, it's, in my mind, it's a non-statement because any gun can do that. You can take the breaker spray in for bots and use the same defense that you could kill light guys with it and maybe kill a few big guys, but... Yeah, the reality of bots is when you find a berserker, there's not just one, two, or three, there's usually at least five, to six, seven, ten. I mean, on the lower difficulties, like, what, like this one, you don't really run into any issues. Yeah, and yeah, on the lower you... difficulties, anything can work. You could use the, uh, I don't know, like, looks like a really bad weapon. You could honestly use the sickle pistol. You could use the marksman rifle on low difficulty, like, marksman rifle, peak! It's so great. There's something here. Because you're probably yeah. only fighting, like, four bots at a time. Yeah, you're pretty much not really running into anything of actual consequence when you're doing... I got another like 15 seconds before I can call my mind filled in again. Got a sample! Thank god, this is a such a violent weapon. I love it. My only gripe with the Eruptor is just how slow it is with, uh, with turning it while aiming. Yeah, people have talked a lot about the, uh, I don't know what the, what the term would be for that, but yeah, when you're aimed in, and you try to rotate, but I think that just encourages you to not do that. Yeah. To aim, shoot, and then de-aim, like unscope. Uh, I don't even know what you call it, like action the bolt, and then aim in again at the next target, rather than continuing to aim in and rotate while rotating the bolt. Because yeah, it's super clunky that way. It's the same thing with the Adjudicator. It has really, it has the same mechanic. In terms of when you're aimed in and trying to move, it's extremely slow. Which is strange, because it's a rifle. I don't know why it's like that. Yeah. And also the recoil is really bad. Like it shakes your screen, which is silly. Requesting fortification! Yeah, there's plenty of people who swear by the, um, the marksman rifles. If they're like dead accurate with a marksman rifle, then they can honestly be fully helpful. Post, but the problem is, is you need someone who fucking uses that shit all the time for it. <laughs> the last person I interacted with, I was basically talking about how I didn't like it. Talking about like you can't kill a small bot with one shot, yeah. and I'm like yeah you can, hit him in the head. It's like, am I gonna sit there and aim at the heads <laughs> of every single bot while they're shooting me? No, like I can't That's do that. Man. Yeah. Not to mention, you get hit with one shot, you're, yeah, you're going from where you're correct. aiming to 90 degrees upwards. The flinch is so bad, especially heavy yeah. devastators. Your character like aims for the heavens. Yeah, There's no way I'm going to be able to headshot a tiny pot. How about you? Yeah, I got it. I got it done. Perfect. Beat beats, now um, we can ditch the fucking minefields. Feed beats everything in this game. Like, if you can kill the enemy faster, like if you can stagger them even, so they can't shoot you, that's king. Yeah. yeah. People get stuck a lot on the I like, paper stacks. Like, I like when I get like when you manage to hit the rocket raiders just before they shoot, so they end up static. Like, so just getting hit, it causes them to launch the rocket in just a completely random direction, almost. Like they'll aim at you, but then your then their shot goes wide because you just nailed them. 
the thing I like about this game is most of the gameplay is a challenge that can be overcome. So the Rocket Devastator, they do a little crouch before they shoot, and they shoot at the position you're currently standing in. So oh, yeah. when they do the crouch, just walk left or right and they're gonna miss. They're gonna shoot where you just were. Yeah. Like you can dive to the side and they're gonna miss. But the Heavy Devastator, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you can't do anything. He's gonna hit you. Even when he's punching, even when he's getting hit with rockets and auto cannons, he's going to like fully burst you down. There is no counter to the Heavy Devastator. To like stop him from doing that. Yeah. And then the same thing with the Scorcher Hulk, uh, instant kill bug yeah. that's been in the game for a long time. People think it's new because of the fire buffs, but it's it's been in the game for a long time. What, the whole thing of the Hulk, the Scorcher Hulk's just killing you outright the moment they keep you with fire? Yeah, your character just drops limp instantly. That's been a bug for a long time. There's a lot of bugs like that that have been around, and I don't even know if it's on the known bugs list, even though that list is already quite large. Yeah. And then with tank corpses killing you instantly, I don't know if that's on the known bugs either. It better is that, be. Uh, is that when you touch any part of it or just the tracks? Because I've had it to where I can jump up any on the side part. and not have that. And they get it's, an it's, eagle. Non, it's not consistent okay, though. Like sometimes you can jump on it and be perfectly fine. So it's just random. Yeah, I just don't touch them at all. I'm, I'm not gonna gamble. But it sucks when they're in the way, you gotta climb on them. Yeah. So, so, so the best example is when you uh, drop pod in on a tank to kill it, and then since you killed the tank, the corpse of the tank kills you. Yeah. Because it happens very quickly. It doesn't like instantly kill you, but it drops your health at a rapid rate. So it basically, too rapid to it, even get off of it and step. Yeah. The problem is like when you when you vault, your character does the animation to climb up. That animation time is enough to kill you. So like just vaulting onto it will kill you. Huh. But you can't get back off of it once you start to take damage. You can't react in time. That's the whole thing with the Scorcher Hulk, yeah. is that even when it does work and as intended with the fire, if you don't immediately dive, you're still going to die very quickly. Yeah. That's why, like, I was hoping this war bond, this democratic detonation, was going to be about fire. Yeah. The one thing I don't like about coming across the weapons on the map, like the support weapons, is with like the auto cannon and the recoilless rifle and the spear, you only get one shot with the with the rocket launchers. But then with the auto cannon, you get the one magazine. And that's it. it. It's kind of fun because you don't have the backpack. Yeah, that's the problem. Like they don't pair it with the backpack. Oh, that's fun. I won't lie, this is a rough is fun when you get like a group of small so you can just all kill them in one bullet. That's I like that. The same thing with the grenade pistol, I find it so satisfying. Mission at 30 minutes remaining. It's so good for Bob. I don't get how when you're your first when you first spawn in with it, you, you have shots. yeah. I, like I wonder it. if that's I don't a want way. Them to fix that. <laughs> it, <laughs> is, it, it is a bug for sure. <laughs> I hope they don't fix it. Yeah, same. It's so funny, like you drop down, <laughs> fire two uh, grenades off real quick. But it's so damn good for bug holes. I was running Blitz yesterday. Yeah. And I was using um, uh, Arkthar, but I was using Ooh. my uh, grenade pistol for the bug holes, and I was wearing grenade armor. That new light set from the War Bond. Yeah, I've just been using the French engine here, or whatever, Pride Turner, I think it is, actually. I still think grenade armor is like probably like one of the worst choices. That's like the only reason you would take it is for blitz missions to take out fabricators or bug holes. Yeah. Oop, sample. Let's see. Next to that, I think servo assisted probably is another really just. Is it, I don't know that's why the you'd one that allows you to throw further, right? Yeah, you, you can throw a huge distance, like you can really, really throw something, Reloading. and it gives you 50% extra limb health. There you go. But, it, like, I value sur survivability over anything that, 
the extra throw range I don't think is necessary because if you dive you can still throw something maybe like 60 meters which is plenty yeah that's kind of why it's like I like having more grenades or more stims more stims for bugs and then like I, I really am almost 110 like, oh, percent sure flamethrower completely useless against bots it's not at all. It can well, definitely. Well, I mean, I, I mean, but it probably does less damage compared to shooting bugs with it. Trust me, it's really good. <laughs> like, yeah, the problem is you have to come up really close to them. But oh my god, it fucking melts them, especially berserkers. Huh. Like, I picked one up before the fire buff, and holy hell, it, it just melted the devastators too, like the shield devastators. That's like the only weapon I think is worth picking up. Like the. Um, AMR, the railgun, the flamethrower. Fire in the hole. Those three are really nice to find. This is temporarily use. Metal and metal. Perfect. I need more metals. An interesting strat would be to not take any support weapon and just use whatever you find. That could be. Uh, well, we need to do, we need to do like do like a hard difficulty mission and do it without There's something here. using any primary or support weapons. I need that achievement. Say hello to democracy! Got a vault over here. Marking location! So right, that one second, guy drop is coming in. For that, like, uh, achievement, it's... If you really, really want to do it easily, you do a bug blitz with mechs. Oh, because, the me because mechs don't count. Yeah, and mechs have the rockets, so you can just instantly pop all the holes and then leave. Oh, hey, that actually makes sense. It's probably the easiest way you could do it. I was thinking, like, using the guard dog, the uh, guard dog rover. Yeah, you could, and then you like, have to, like, worry about uh, bigger enemies. Yeah, true. If you get any charges, good luck. I'm on it. Yeah, and I mean that's where call like where I like, calling in support, like calling in like airstrikes and stuff like that. Metal, metal, and super credits. Perfect. Plus six medals on a level two mission. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Right, Found something. Oh, that's fine. Uh, a little. I don't know how that aimed over there. Uh, metals and wreck slips. Oh, nice. Alright, what we got here? What we got here? It should have been two metals, because I still don't need wreck slips. Yeah. Alright, and shoot me. There we go. Metal and the arc thrower. And not really all that useful at the moment, considering the fact that we basically completed the mission. And other than the occasional bot patrol, there really isn't anything else. Yeah. Tagging location. Cancel that. There's probably some samples over here at the extraction. Extraction point. is available. Alright. Yeah, there's a tipped over. <laughs> yeah. I hate how bright these lights are. That you find on the map. Like, they're just. Which watch like you always see like it you always end up seeing me shooting the lights out. There we go. Calling in extraction. And there's no samples over here. Extraction request confirmed. Shuttle inbound. Reloading! Calling down fortifications! Here, they can have a minefield over there. Calling down 
Friggin' ammo crates only give you like one grenade each. For the grenade pistol. Yeah. Throwing supply beacon! Like the ones that you find normally on the ground. I think some okay. resupply products. Yeah. Or nine technically. One in the two. I mean, resupply gives you at least two. Thirty seconds. Yeah, minefield is. Just by the way, we're done seconds. with the damn minefield now. What? You don't like the minefield, bro? It's so good. I, mean, I love blocking a bunch of heavy ATA enemies, walk through and take no damage, and everything else gets the block. The only minefield that might be worth anything is the incendiary just because they bust fire so Pelican much. One, landing in progress. Even just use napalm strike. <laughs> I'm, I'm a personal fan of uh, the rig action shotgun. I mean, it is a pretty decent gun, it's just the fact that it's Countdown so. Initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Like that it's, it's only got two shots. Pen, Extraction complete. Yeah, Pelican uh, One beginning ascent. Scout states it'll penetrate the shield. I think it one shots folks. Or sorry, um, it doesn't do anything against folks. I was testing it the other day. Um, Devastators. Like, I mean, if you shoot the Hulk in the back, it'll probably do something against them because Hopefully, yeah. usually, because I've shot a, the Hulk in the back with a quasar that used my sickle to finish it off before. I'm just sad that it can't headshot. Like it, it just bounces. Huh. Yeah, if you get up close and personal with a Hulk, you always like shooting it in the face with the quasar is definitely the way to go. <laughs> the best is when you can manage to take out its flame if it's a scorcher one, take out its flamer arm before getting in closer to it. Because then it you can't really do anything against you because it's not it has no distance weapons in. That's why so many people run the rail cannon strike. Because it'll target the bot that the Hulk and take it out in one hit, right? Sweet. I think it's just a laziness thing of like I don't want to deal with that, and then you throw it and it instantly kills whatever you were worried about. Yeah. All right, seventy-one metals. Let's see. It's partially why I don't like using the arc throwers because everybody uh, rail cannon strikes whatever I'm shooting at. I think people there like innately go. don't now, trust our to do anything. Let's see. I just need 60, no, 54 more metals, and I can get the scorcher. Jeez, the stuff on the last page of Helldivers Mobilize is so expensive. Yeah. I mean, a hundred dollars for the armor. You don't need anything but the oh. super creds and scorcher. Yeah. I like how the last booster is like almost like a noob trap item. Like you have to get all the way to the end to get one of like the most curious boosters. Like. If you need four extra reinforces, you probably just shouldn't play that difficulty. I don't like things in games that plan for failure. Like, hey, we're gonna suck so bad, so I'm gonna bring extra reinforces just because I know we're gonna die like 20 trillion times. 
Yeah. Versus picking something that will prevent the deaths. <coughs> yeah. Like the first three boosters you get, especially stamina, are like the the most peak boosters. Like just take those every time, and then the fourth booster is just like I don't know, pick something random. Like all of them are kind of mid. Maybe the UAV one. I don't know, like the extra radar. Yeah. Most people say like muscle booster. It's nice for the snow planets. I wonder if I'll ever get a booster that's uh, revolving around uh, support weapons, like above support weapons in some way. That'd be interesting. I was thinking about obviously uh, one that would buff the arc thrower or, or like some sort of booster that buffs a specific weapon type. Yeah, I mean, I need. Like maybe if they added more um, crossbow like kind of weapons where they have bullet drop, there could be a booster that gives like like uh, more velocity to like crossbow bolts or the things like that. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe rockets in general, maybe like rockets fly faster, I don't know. So they're more accurate. Yeah. Anyway, now that that personal order is done. And then we got 20 hours until the major order is finished. And we get We're gonna the... have to defend one of those. Well, they're both under our control right now. Yeah, Joel's just gonna put a defense on one of them. Um. Depends on what the supply lines are. No, like, What's Leslath like? or Men Menkan, he's just gonna put, defend the planet, oh my gosh. Like, that's why there's still, like, so many hours left. Most likely, anyway. Yeah. That's what always happens, that when we have to hold the planet until the major order's done, we have to keep defending it, like, he'll keep putting defenses on it. Operation complete. Let's see. Call in time is 50% of this. Let's see what this one is. Definitely not taking a stratagem slots reduced. Screw that bullshit. I think that's the, the best one if I had to pick. I always uh, know what to get for three. I don't know what to pick for my fourth. Mission coordinates lost. I want to try it. Let's see. I got three requests. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. This invited two people to the Discord. We'll see if they come in. They join. He is not able to play right now, James. What? You just not able to play right now? I'm standing right in front He's of in you. Lobby. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't know. What did you? <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't paying attention. Bro, I was like standing in front of him for so long. <laughs> hello. Actually, Howdy, hello. I'll be right back. All right. All right. So. Oh boy, fog with bots. <laughs> Been a while. Yeah, but Helldivers it ain't that bad. Didn't Creek have fog? Hellpots. I can't remember. I don't know. I mean, it can always was it check rain? later. No, it wasn't rain, right? I don't know. So, my friend code is right. in the friend code That's channel, right. so, all right. I've not fogged. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. There we go. I've not fought on Penta before, have you? You what? I've not fought on Penta before. Like, has anyone fought on this planet? I um, mean, yeah, I mean, uh, that's why I've been doing my missions on so far. What does the like environment look like? Just uh, it's out. kind of it's kind of wooded. So kind of similar to Malevolent. Oh, all right. But so not jungle. really as much. Well, not really jungle. Just kind of more of a wooded area, essentially. Oh, so, so it's like Angels Adventure, kind of. I don't, I don't think I've ever been on that planet, so not sure how that one looks. Uh, 
kind of gotta get out of my sample farming get up. Yeah, well, we're doing a level seven mission. <coughs> yesterday we actually, yesterday we had a pretty good run with our with our level seven missions. Yeah, I'm of the personal faith that you don't need to sample farm because you can get so fucking many if you just, you know, look for them. <laughs> yeah. It's just sample farming is way faster, of course. Yeah. Yeah, because you get so many more. I don't, know. A, I don't so sample. More. I don't sample farm that much, but I really want to get the tier four for both the circuit expansion and the enhanced combustion. Yeah, I'm trying to... Get all of mine up to level four. All of mine up hell to level four. Hell to hell pods. Repeat. I only have one left. To hell pods. I have several that I have to finish. I think I still have a few level threes to finish out. Let me see. Okay, so I have one, two. Three of the tier threes to finish, and then one, two, three, four, five of tier fours. You have some very mismatched armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the good thing is you can change your armor and stuff like that while uh, doing your equipment loadout. Yeah. What about here? Yeah, alright. Oh, that has water. Oh, we're doing plants. Oh. So this map kind of is like Creek. Can curious to see what it looks like. We'll drop in right there. Let's do this stand Charging battery. I'm thinking of like, definitely like, probably ordering myself a 3D printed uh, Helldivers helmet and then seeing if I can find like a, a headset that I could probably take apart and then mount into the heads into the helmet. <laughs> like, wouldn't that be kind of weird to be Charging playing the battery. game and then wearing like, a, like wearing the helmet while playing? It'd be hard to see, probably. Yeah. Alright, I'm back, sorry. I needed food, I was fucking starving. Okay. That's totally acceptable. Does this planet have mud, you know? Um, Charging I don't think battery. so. It's got some steep terrain, though. Initiated. Are you running a solar or regular machine gun? Groove. Regular. I know, I know, Star Wars. Okay, that red gas giant looks like it's probably like it's on its side. Kind of like how Uranus is. That, like, like the they way you're. The planet. Why doesn't it say don't drink and dive? Like, don't drink and dive. <laughs> we don't even have, yeah. like, vehicles. <laughs> We're broke. Of all humanity's children this planet is very red. Yeah, this is Creek. This is just Creek's layout. Requesting orbital strike. There's a cannon turret. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I meant from earlier. Requesting cat pack. Requesting cat pack. Calling down a support weapon. They got the fucking. Found something. I'm getting my like, constant lights, buddies. I got nine bots with that dropping the freaking dropping the drop tip on them. Yeah, that bounced back a little bit. Got a plane for if anybody wants it.